I really want this road all to myself. With a Corvette, I want to be able to put the pedal in the metal. Yeah, and I'm thinking after this minivan is our shot. Let's see how this baby rides. Not sure how crazy Disney's going to be about us testing speeds, but I'm all about it. You got the top down on a beautiful sunny afternoon in Florida. It doesn't get much better than this in a red Corvette. She drives smooth. Doesn't feel like a sports car. But looking out over that hood, it's nothing but beauty. Oh, and look at this. I'm actually just doing four miles over the speed limit. That's pretty impressive for a Corvette. I wasn't sure I'd be able to slow it down. Now, here's a cool thing. They actually offer you a special school because here's the deal. You've got all kinds of power under the hood, and they want to make sure you know how to handle it. I think I could be taught. I could get used to this. We were saying earlier, if a guy, if a guy drives a red Corvette, especially, you know, a convertible, he's having a midlife crisis. I personally think when a woman drives a Corvette, she just looks hot. Do you agree? Absolutely. <laughs> this is one of those cars that I want to go down at big city street full of buildings with all glass so that I could just see my own reflection. <laughs> to me, this Corvette takes me back to the vets of the past. You know, the stylish old Stingrays with all the curves. And they say that's what people like and I would tend to believe them. I've got a couple curves myself, so I speak from experience. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's a nice ride. I have plenty of leg room. Certainly not a mom car, but I'm not at the point in life where I really want to be driving around with the kids in the back. So, I think once you get through those baby years and the teen years and you've really earned the mom card, you know, this, this is how you reward yourself. What do I need to know about this? What's, what are the cool new features that are in this model that weren't in last year's? This is the 2013 Corvette Grand Sport. And as you mentioned, uh, this is the last model year of the C6 variant of the Corvette. We just recently revealed the all new 2014 C7. And I strongly recommend going to Chevrolet.com and checking it out. It takes the, the heritage and the passion of a Corvette to a whole new level. I have a picture of that from the auto show in Atlanta. It is sexy. But so is this, so. Yeah, absolutely. So is this. Hmm. We just gotta get past this red light. Yeah, I think it'd be really frustrating um, to have to drive this around stop and go traffic all the time. I particularly like uh, I was told if I got the opportunity to sit in this Corvette, I needed to pretend that I stole it. That's what I said. They told me, drive it like you stole it. Absolutely. So I think we could at least pass the Disney bus. What do you think? I think we should. Oh, he tried cutting you off. I know. What is he thinking? Woo! I love it. This is what you'd call a thrill a minute. You know, they've got the, the movie coming out or being shot again, Need for Speed. And uh, I think so if that's you, away. you need one of these. I can't imagine a Corvette in any other color than red though, I'll tell you that. Up here? Right Correct. up here? Yep. We actually had so much fun we missed our stop. <laughs> that might have been intentional. <laughs> I'm not very good at Mischievous. Uh -huh. Well, hey, you know what? I'm not sure when I'm going to get in a Corvette again, so I'll take it. I love, love the convertible. I grew up in Florida, and it was pretty common for people to have, you know, T-tops, convertibles, and uh, moved up, not north, but moved north of Florida, and, uh, you know, that wasn't the craze anymore. 
more and it was difficult. I, I tell you what, I would have I would have the top down on this bad daddy every day of the week. Let's see, alright, let's see how fast we can go right here. We just want to do a quick U-turn through here. All right, where will I do the U-turn? I'm other not lane? sure. It'll be an experience. <laughs> ah! We're just out for an afternoon. Oh, I'll stroll. take care of it. Hey there. We're just trying to do a U-turn. What do we need to Under do? Under the overpass, first left. Thank you, sir. Have Thank a great you. one. Last time I was on this road, I was running a half marathon. Oh boy. I'm thinking the Corvette's going a little faster than I did. Oh, hey, maybe we do get to do the donuts. Woo <laughs> I feel like a cowgirl. <laughs> Saddle up, baby. Now, this is fun. I don't know that you'd need to go on test track if you just had a Corvette to drive around every day. I mean, this is pretty much its own little amusement. what it costs because it's not about the money. Not about the money in one of these. It's all about the power under the hood and the beautiful curves. But should I decide that one day I might wish to own one, what are we talking for price points? The vehicle we're currently in, which is the Corvette Grand Sport, and as you can see, convertible, we are looking at just about $76,000. But again, it's the horsepower, it's the fun, it's the curves. It's the Corvette. And you know what? Here's the thing. People who own Corvettes hold on to them for a good long while. You'll still find them out on the road. You know, when you're driving down the highway, you still see those 72s out there. You still see Corvettes everywhere. A little racing flag in you're looking for. When you've got a Corvette, you don't need anybody to explain that you're going to own it. Oh, no, no. And here's one rule. You cannot be passed in a Corvette. Does this little Toyota think he's going to pass me? I think not. I think I could sit in this and drive all day long. I think Odie's probably going to have a problem with that, though. <laughs> 